Hey folks, Aaron Gibson, Ranges Backstops and Berms. We're gonna start a series on minimalist holsters. But first, let's be clear that this is not a paid promotion. I paid full price for the holsters we're gonna spotlight out of my own pocket. For that reason, I'm going to give you my unvarnished opinion as if you were sitting right here next to me. To begin with, here's the difference between a minimalist holster and a simple trigger guard holster. I would define a minimalist holster as a trigger guard holster with features other than simple cordage to secure it. This could include some other mechanism to secure it in place like a belt clip, or even more coverage around the firearm. Today, we're gonna to be featuring the DeSantis Pegasus Slim Tuck Holster. The Pegasus has an attached clip and it covers more than just the trigger guard area of the firearm. In fact, the clip also uses a static cog system with teeth that can adjust the belt clip and keep it stable under tension. The instructions come with a warning to left-handed users that the belt clip could engage the magazine release when in the zero degree cant configuration. Now, I played around with this issue and could not get the clip to activate the mag release during the evaluation, but keep in mind I was using the OEM magazine release. If you're left-handed and use an extended magazine release, that could have a different outcome for you. There's a lot of things good about this holster. For starters, the cost falls into the category of budget pricing for Kydex holsters. The molded thermal plastic was surprisingly rigid. Sometimes when a holster is made of plastic that is too thin, it can be so pliable as to be almost useless. But this one was solid. The holster not only covers the trigger guard, but the slide frame and front sight forward of the trigger guard as well. Sometimes, with just a trigger guard holster, you can feel the front sight digging into your skin inside the waistband when you change positions from standing or sitting. It's not the most comfortable feeling. The holster comes set up for right-handed drop, which makes sense considering only about 13% of Americans are left-handed. But if you do have to change over the belt clip for left-handed drop, there are a number of small parts that drop all over the place during the process. Luckily, a schematic sheet is provided to put them all back together. But the process is not what I would call easy. Also, there is no height adjustment for the holster clip provided, so where it falls on the belt line is pretty much what you get. However, I'm aware that you can order an adjustable belt clip from the manufacturer. You can swap out the belt clip for cordage, but that would be a home modification as no string is provided with the holster. If you did this home mod, it creates an added feature where you can quickly and safely transition from right hand to left hand draw. Because this holster covers the pistol from the trigger guard forward, the sharp edges at the front sight don't dig into your skin during the process. Overall, it's a pretty slick minimalist holster, especially for the price. With the stated deficiencies notwithstanding, if you're in the market for this type of a holster, I can recommend it. If you have questions or comments about the info provided, feel free to leave them below. And check back as we continue this series on minimalist holsters. Catch you next time on Ranges, Backstops, and Berms.